What's happening? Another day in the life of a plant collector. Uh, I just thought it would be cool to document a sale of my pink princess philodendron with someone on Facebook, one of the Facebook groups. Most of these groups uh, scare me. They, well, they used to scare me. I'm just cautious now. A lot of weirdos out there. So I wanted to show you how I sell my plants and document it because actually we're about to go down because I'm about to actually tell this guy I don't know if I should say his name I'm about to calculate his shipping and tell him how much he's paying for shipping for this prince pink princess which I started out with like um started out fifty dollars then I was thinking I'll drop it down to forty just to make it go quick because it's uh, it's a stunner Look at that pink. I think I'm even gonna tell him my YouTube channel because I'm trying to be transparent and show people who I am because I used to be nervous about showing my face on Instagram um, because like I said, there's a lot of weirdos out there and um, I don't want to tarnish my name because I know I'm selling dope ass plants and you know, there's always some weirdos out there. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I used to sell incognito but i guess like in hindsight i'm i'm selling um a private collection of plants it's my, my own private collection that i take care of with great pride um so i i i, I didn't see the value even though my fiance was telling me oh you're selling dope plants and i was just like i know i just think there's weirdos out there so i was worried about the problems that would happen and not the benefits so I was so worried about the negatives and not the positives, I was blinded. So um, fast forward two years, two or three years later, I'm opening up and showing my face. I'm actually using my headshots on Facebook, but Gerard Sadler, that's who I am. Contact me. <laughs> I'm about to do a Facebook page because uh, I, you know, I, <coughs> it, I think it's better if I do a Facebook page just in case people want to buy a private collector's plant because I am a private collector and I do take great pride in my plant. So um, let, me do, let me do a shipping for right now. And I wanted to show you the um, dialogue um, between me and this gentleman. Let me type in USPS. I got the USPS app, non-sponsored by the way. I just started doing click and ship. They want me to do a survey. Not doing a survey right now. You know, they always, why don't you do a survey? Um, but I'm doing USPS click and ship because the um, people at my post office always tell me to do it. So I've, after three years later, I finally started doing click and ship. Look at that. You know, I have valid information there. So I can show you my phone. See my phone? So I'm going to hit click and ship because what I do is I don't have a printer. My daughter would go ham on a printer and I would just be going through ink and that would be a problem, which I'm, I'm thinking about the problems and not the, the benefits once again. <laughs> but what I do is I do the click and ship, which I'm about to do now. And I go to the library and I um, print out my label there. And then I go, I tape it on the box and uh, I um, ship it out. I just go to the post office and walk up to them and say, this is drop off, because I always drop it off. And yeah, we do it like that. Well, I can't get in for some reason. I can't, I forget, let me just do, let me do, forgot password. Oh boy, I thought I was already logged in. Something must have happened. It's like letting me log in, but it's not. So we're gonna try, forgot password. Gonna put my, gonna put that in there. They're asking me for my favorite holiday. All right, I think they're just going through a password change. Sorry, this is taking so long. 
but I am waiting to tell you how, because he said one thing and, it, and I say anything, typing in my password and I am back in. I don't know why it made me do that because I don't have his, um, let's just calculate price, calculate price. That's where I'm at, where I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. Should have had this a while ago, jeez. Well, no, they were making me log in, so it is what it is. Oh boy, you're almost there, almost there, my friend. And it's, what is it today, Wednesday? Today is Thursday, so I'm not even going to probably ship it tomorrow because, depending on where he's at, and where the person's at, also gotta get a scale package. So usually that's, I don't know, I'll get a lifetime. Okay, 945 priority. So it'll be 945 for priority. I don't know what zip code this is. Let me just put in what zip code this is. This is Indiana. In Indiana. Okay. So this is going to Indiana, which is a dope looking princess. I mean, this leaf is kind of beat up, but it had no pests at all. Um, and this new leaf should be pretty much looks like it's going to be solid. I wish I could. Well, well, if I ship it out Monday, because today is Thursday, and I don't like to ship on Thursdays or Fridays, so strict uh, protection rules we usually protect ourselves. We only ship on either Mondays or Tuesdays. Um, West Coast, like it's weird. It's even longer. I make sure because if you're shipping to California from New Jersey, it's like mad expensive. I remember I had to ship this big Monstera Tide constellation. Like the box was like, it was almost like two foot long. And like, I um, um, had to pay like a hundred dollars in shipping and um, I miscalculated. I, actually, I found out how much I should charge for shipping. At that point, I wasn't doing clipping ship. I was just using the, um, the normal shipping rates on eBay because I was checking the shipping calculations on eBay and then I would charge them that way. But I think I shipped, ship, I just, did the same thing. I looked at a picture of the same plant that I was selling. It was a monster tie constellation, not trying to get off subject, but I was a big monster tie constellation that somebody else was selling. I was selling the same one. And um, I think it had two or three leaves. It probably had two leaves. And I missed, you know, I think it was like a hundred bucks for shipping, but it wound up being like one, one I think it was like one something. Cause I must have heavily packed it and I made some weight. Like the, you know, the Monster Tide Constellations, if you ever felt they're, they're like a leaf, they are heavy. So they're not as light as this, in, you know, we would think a light plant, but it's, it's similar. I mean, they're hard, but if somebody hits you with it, like a branch with a Monster Tide Constellation branch, that's like, has a lot of fenestrations, it might hurt. Um, well, it definitely would hurt. But yeah, I remember that was a long time ago. So. Uh, I say that to say this, I perfected everything now. I got everything um, pretty much down packed. So yeah, the guy, con he con the person, the person contacts me and they wanted to do a trade. And I'm like, he's like, he's like, hey, um, goods and services. So I'm like, what's goods and services? <laughs> and I'm like, what are you offering? I don't know what goods and services are. It was like, his vocabulary was like way over my head. So I'm like, what is goods and services? Why, why, what goods are you selling, you know, for this pink princess that I'm like thinking about holding on to? So wind up being, he wanted me to trade me for a, he wanted to trade me for a, a Monster Albo. So yeah, he was gonna sell me an Albo. I got three Albos. And my mother elbow is growing out right now and it's growing like pretty deep. Like it has three leaves right now. It's like, it doesn't have as much variegation as the other three that I have that are in LECA that I'm gonna transition. I'm probably gonna keep them like, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do actually. But um, they're like acclimating and they're waiting to wake up cause they haven't grown anything yet. The one leaf that was attached to the node um, none of them have done anything they're like that's my thing about monsters and i keep getting off tangent but um playing with i don't want any more monsters to be honest with you they or tie constellations or elbows because i have too many and they're a pain in the butt to ship i'm always like kind of nervous about shipping them and they're too big i like this size it's more comfortable with selling this i can just package this up in like 
three seconds now not three seconds but i could package it up pretty pretty quick and um they're easy it's not that heavy like i said i get a box about less than a foot but i usually sell in all the boxes that i have that are like 16 by 25 by 25 and call it a day do the click and ship print it out at the library fit was it 15 cents and um tape it up drive over there drop it off and uh you know get my money through paypal well and i'm getting 40 bucks so this is what's going on let's see what he says if you respond it how much ship total so it'll be 49 45 and i'm not going to tell them i'm going to ship it monday yet because they could be like i want to pay you monday and then some people ghost on it because a lot of people have ghost have ghosted on me um like they, they even do an auction. I've done a bunch of auctions where like people have ghosted and not even um, paid you or responded after you. They've won an auction and then you go down to the next person and they, I think they usually buy. Then you try to get them banned. Well, I don't ever try to get people banned. I, I did one time because I was like really upset. But um, yeah, you can get a banned if they ghost you. But a lot of people make fake accounts on facebook so that's like another thing that i was like really leery about and odd about like cautious like i'm like who am i selling to what trick are they going to do but um i take pictures of the plant and i've done this on a lot of my videos i take pictures of the plant um i take pictures of the box and then i usually take a picture of the box right by the u.s post office doors where there's like a eagle mat and it says united states the black mat right by the door and I take a picture of the box right there and um, how it looks because if it looks any other way um, when you get it it's out of my hands and uh, fortunately the, when you ship priority you get $50 insurance which is a plus um, with plants but at this point I want to get like the whole benefit if we're going to leave that in there um, so right now I'm just waiting for this guy to pay and see what happens if he's going to do it today can I want to tell him I'm gonna ship out Monday because it's also a heat wave. And I know it's the, the USPS trucks aren't air conditioned. So I don't want the plant to melt because it's going to Indiana. And I'm sure Indiana is probably hotter than New Jersey, maybe. So um, I wanna I'll tell them Monday. I'm not doing any, any other day besides Monday because I don't want the plant to be waiting um, on a weekend. If possibilities, it had some type of issue. Plus it's it's, it's a little cool now. I think the highest it's going to be for these couple days is 86 in New Jersey. It's not going to get any past the 90s, so it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, we're waiting. Goods and services. I'm I'm like, I don't know what to, I don't know what he means. He says goods and services again. I don't know what he means by goods and services. I just put yes. About to call him. But yeah, what are you do? What are you talking about? Let's just make this thing happen, bro. Let's get it together goods and services you're confusing me i don't know what goods and services I'll, just, I'll tell him now i'm shipping on monday be safe just to be on the safe side but i'm gonna need the payment today to secure the plant i'm not securing it you know holding it i just need payment the payment secures it it's only 40 bucks you know it's only 40 bucks this pretty well taken care of plant i even did my own orchid i'm not orchid but um philodendron mix <clears throat> waiting so i think um i'll come back after payment is completed Let's see when this happens we'll come back All right, so after, um, after I think it was three hours, <clears throat> we finally completed the transaction. I sent them the invoice, invoice and um, I'll be shipping out Monday. So it's another successful sale of one of my pink princesses, just documenting the whole time. And um, the guy actually knew that I was a YouTuber, so I'm definitely 
getting exposed thanks to thanks to a young lady not by the name of Jessica. Um, I so she's she's in a town close to me. I sell I sold some plants to her a while back and sold them again another while back and then she kind of figured out who I was um, under my Sarah under my alias anonymous other account Sarah Jean Miller who is a five five star rated seller. Um, shout out to her Jessica. You know who you are. I think she's she's in the hospital right now dealing with something with a pancreas i'm sending positive vibes your way but thank you and thank you for watching my channel um last step of the game is basically me uh shipping out the plant on monday and i told the guy that um i'll be taking pictures of the box when it arrives at the post office <clears throat> um just so he knows what the box looks like before it leaves my hand and that's pretty much that so forty dollars for a pink princess that is very stunning. I was thinking about holding on to it, but um, it had to go because I'm still I'm still purging. So um, we'll be we'll be doing some cuts later on. So it's not the last one, not going to be the first. I still have a bunch more. I still have my mother plant. I still have my show plant. So we got tons of plants. Um, but I'm just signing out with that one, guys. Thanks for watching and keep growing.